all right guys welcome to the second part of this series so we're building a job api with class api and if you're just joining us we're learning how to build rest apis with class api and we're taking the blog api approach so in this part of the video we're going to be learning how to create our models and how to also test our models so we're going to be following a test driven approach so we're taking test driven development approach in this project and we're going to be creating our models for applications and we'll test them so just to recap of what we did we created our docker compose file to um, create our container for our database we created our, we created our database.py file which would allow us to connect to our database and we also created our configuration file for importing our environmental variables and we also have app.py where we initialize all our, all our database models and credentials and all so now let's get started so the first thing i need to do is i'm going to need to create a folder here called um i could call this core so core is basically going to contain all my applications so um, in my blog api i'm going to have the users part i'm going to have the post part there could be several other parts basically present in in this application so one thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to use this or you could decide to um if you want you could decide to name this apps which is also quite fine so i don't really want com conflict with this because the name of uh my main file here is app.py so which is why i'm deciding to name it core so in your situation you might decide to name it app so i'm going to name this core and i'm going to create a file called in it the pie so this is going to make the sorry this is going to make the core folder um, a package that's basically accessible anywhere so now that i have this i'm going to create a folder called users or uh let me call that user instead user and i'm going to have another folder called post so what this is going to do is I'm going to have every kind of code here that has to do with user in my user folder and for post I'm going to have every post related model here so let's start by creating our user models so the first thing I need to do is create my models dot pi so um, to create my models I'm going to need to uh, make use of um, I would say SQL Alchemy so for that SQL Alchemy is an ORM so I'm going to use from SQL alchemy sorry it seems like there's a problem okay yes for sql alchemy import column and i would say string say foreign key and i would say from sql alchemy dot orm import relationship so i'm also going to need to import integer here which will serve of my id and maybe later on in the video we can decide to use a uuid so that that's going to be a separate um explanation on its own so i can say from dot um let me see i would need to go to the core of my folder to import database so that would be from um the name of my database from sorry from let's say from database import base so this is going to this is going to import base for us from our database so i want to import base base so we're taking the base here from database.py and we're using it here so going back to models.py now i'll then need to say class i'll need to start defining my models i'll then need to say class user which is going to inherit base and i would also want to specify my table name so one way to go about this is you, you can do table name equals um, i think a finding for this will be users and then now let's define our field properties so first every user has to have an id so i want this to be um, an integer sorry i want this to have an integer and i will also want it to be the primary key so i will say primary key equals to true and i will have it to be indexed also index equals true so with that i can decide to also give my users a username um i'll say username will be um column and i can say that will be string 
and I want every username to be unique. That means we don't we don't want a situation where um, a user kind of like have multiple. I uh, sorry, we don't want a situation where two users have the same username. We want for every user we kind of like that signs up to our blog application. We kind of want them to have a single username, so we can basically have users with single username. So also we want to have our email. So our email is also going to be a string. So I'm going to say column string. And also we want a situation where our email is also unique. So I, I'm then going to specify index is also secure for this. So do this. And lastly, we're going to want to have our password. So I'll say I asked password equals column string. So I guess that's fine. So um this asked password is going to um contain our password here that's been that's basically going to be ashed in another part of the video we're going to be going over how to ash our passwords in fast api for security so i'm just going to save this so also we also want to say that every user is going to have a post so i'm, I'm just going to say um i'm just going to say that post right is equals to relationship right um, and that will be um post good so i'm then going to say back populate um i want every i want each user to be called to be the author of this so this works now i'm going to also need to go to my post up by and define my models dot by good so now that my models of by have been defined i'll start by basically creating my post okay i will need to get some input from here i think it's best if i just like get this and kind of post it here yes so i'll say class post and i will need to import this and i'll say the name of my table so i'll start by saying table name which is going to be equal to post. So this is a fine table name and I would want to give it an ID of column um, and a type of integer. And I would say primary key equals to true. Okay, first format, so I would want index to be equals to true. Now, I would also specify my title because I want every blog post here to have a title. That's the model we're kind of working with. And I also, I, I don't really want um, my title to be unique because every blog post can, you can basically have two users writing um, a post of the same title. So I'm not going to enforce any uniqueness for this. So it's also going to have a content, which is going to be string. So, and lastly, we're going to have the author ID, which is basically um, the user. So. To do that, I would need to establish a constraint here. So I'm going to say column. So the auto ID is going to be an integer. And I'm also going to need to specify it to be a foreign key to our users. So that will be users dot ID. So good. Lastly, I'm going to have this to be auto, which is going to be um, a relationship. So and it's going to be a relationship to user and it's also going to be um back populate which will be post so with this we've, we've kind of created our models here we've created our user model we've also created our post model so now with this we can basically write test for our models now that we've created our models let's get to the process of writing test for our models so to write test for our models we can make use of um pytest um okay let me um get my container running so to do this i would basically need to install pytest so i'll go start by saying git install pytest good so now that i kind of have this i'm going to want to have my test to be in a separate folder i don't want my test to be in my core folder so i could decide to like put all my tests in my post which is actually kind of fine but i think having my test separate here as is a much cleaner and neater way of doing it so for my test i'm going to have user 
I'm also going to have um, my test and I'm also going to have um, post right so um, I think I can take this here and I can paste this here too so um, yeah this is fine and I would also want to have my needle back here so this so I would also then write test underscore post dot by and I would then want to have test underscore user dot by so first we need to um, write a test from our user for our user so um, I'm going to first write I'm going to write a test now that creates a user so um, I would need to import my user model so I'm going to say from core dot user import user okay um, it seems that I got something wrong from core dot user dot model import okay from core dot user dot models okay I see so I'll need to go back here and say test underscore user okay let me close this just to avoid some confusions yes so we we basically have post and user talking about so it's going to be from core user dot models import user yes so that's correct so to create our test i can say dev create user but for pytest to actually kind of run this test by default you would need to start your functions with the name test so start it with test and you say test underscore create user so if you if you do not start this function in the test you're not going to have it running as a test by the time you call pytest so i can then say user equals to user and i'm going to specify a username to be um, um user and i'm going to specify an email to be user at email right email.com and I'm going to specify my ash password to be um, password. So with this, I'm basically taking my user and creating a dummy user. So now, one thing we can do is we can then assert if basically our user was created correctly. So I can then say assert user dot username equals um, user. I can also I'm, I'm also going to run as I'm, I'm also going to create assertion for the email and the password so I'll say assert user dot email right equals 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 email I guess that I guess that, that must have been a mistake up here sorry all right so that'll be assert equals user at email right email.com and i'll also want to assert my ash password so i'll say assert user dot ash password which will be equals to password so this is what our test is going to look like and it's going to run equals equals so we're comparing basically um the instance variables here that has been created to basically those values to be sure that our user was created correctly so so that's that now let us start by also writing um, our post test so i'll say from core dot post dot models import post and i'll start by saying def um so first i want to test how to create a post so i'll say test create um post and with this i'm going to say post equals post and from there i'm going to say title which will be equals to um test or i'll say um, i can call this my first post um i can write a content which is going to be this is my post yes so with that we've created a post so i can decide to assert also i'll say assert dot um post dot title right will be equals to my first post so not equals to equals equals we're comparing we're starting so i'm then going to go and say assert post dot content 
gonna be equals equals my sorry I'll say this is my fourth so that means I've kind of started this so I can set this now I'm testing out to create a post I also kind of want to test um my relationship so um I'll say dev um user post relationship so I'm going to say test underscore user underscore post underscore relationship and with that i'm going to put a parenthesis and i'm going to say user equals okay so i want to create a user so rather than just create a, a brand new user i'm just going to take my user from here i'm going to copy this guy here and i'm going to place him here yes so that way i kind of have my user there so um i also need to import some core dot post dot model to import um user good so uh now nah. so from post dot from core dot user dot model to import user okay yes i guess that works well so now i want to kind of test the authenticity or i'll say how authentic this user is so i'm going to place this here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um offer equals user for this post right here so I'm going to assign this post to an author so th th that way we're going to tell if this relationship works so I'm going I'm first going to say assert if post dot author equals equals user so we actually want to check that if this user was correct